What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com Here in the temporary Old School Stereo Lab setup We have the Amplifier Dyno 81 from SMD and Demore Engineering That's what I'm talking about right here boys We've stepped our game up So, unfortunately, my setup here is not quite optimal Let me show you what I've got here I've got this old Audio Authority uh, 12 volt power supply. It's a hybrid supply, so it's designed to be used with a battery to get up to 300 amps. But I found out that um, the voltage on it drops pretty bad, even with this big battery. But um, anyway, so I've got that. It's 50 amps continuous and 300 amps peak with a battery attached, but it doesn't say anything about the voltage. It puts out about 13.6 volts. Um, wish it did about 14.4 that would be better but anyway it is what it is so then we have the AGM battery here by Duracell um, got this from Sam's Club or something I think it's about 170 bucks and we have the amplifier dyno SMD uh, DMOR 81 we have the iPod Nano here have everything all configured for the kicker ZR240 this is gonna be the first official amp test with the amp dyno 81 so without further ado let's get started For today's test, what we're going to do is we're going to run the amp bridged, which as you can see, it's the two outer terminals, the left uh, plus and right minus. We have the amp set at full range, so we can do the one kilohertz test in addition to the 40 kilohertz, 40 hertz test. And you can see we have the probes here off of the amp dyno just going right in to the eight gauge wire, which is as large as this amp will accept. We have about 12 inches of eight gauge going into a four gauge and the four gauge is going through a 80 amp fuse and then going into the battery. And there's also four, four uh, gauge leads going off of the power supply onto the battery. So it's kind of acting like an alternator. So that's the deal with the setup and we'll do 40 Hertz tests also and one kilohertz test. So let's get started. All right, so you can see we have the jumper set here on the 81. What that does is it parallels the internal load, so that way we can um, we can bridge them together and just use one of the output leads. And this is 12 gauge OFC wire going into the amp for the speaker terminals. So let's go into mode. We'll go into certified, and we're going to choose mono. And yes, we've got those connected. And then we'll go to 4 ohms and enter. And then we just need to make sure we're on the right track. It to be track 4 or 9. And we're on track 4. We got these ripped to the iPod Nano as Apple lossless format. And we've already um, tested the output and got all the DD1 set for this unit and the amplifier. So let's go ahead and hit start dyno and then we'll unpause the track and let's watch what she does smack your mama 345 watts and that is certified mode at 4 ohms 345 and here's the interesting thing and I wanted to uh, shout out to my buddy CJ at Dropping Hertz. He uh, he gave me his little cheat sheet here and I'm gonna modify it a little bit, but uh, this made it simpler to do my test. You can see the ratings um, at eight ohms bridge, 120 watts, four ohms is 240 and two ohms is 300. That's the ratings from kicker at 12.5 volts. So the cool thing about this is we just got right at 12.5 
and we'll put 12.5 and you can see how much it's underrated now I realize for you guys who are into the big you know multiple thousand watt amps this is not much I mean we're talking you know less than 500 watts but the big deal here is they you know they um, rated it at 240 watts and you're getting a hundred more watts than that at the same voltage that's pretty incredible so talking about amps being underrated these kicker ZRs from what I've seen are definitely that way so let's uh, hit up the next test which we'll do a 2 ohm certified all right now we'll take it back in the menu and we'll go over to 2 ohm load again this is certified and we'll make sure that we're ready to unpause the track unpause the track and let's let the sparks fly oh man i wish my voltage wouldn't drop so much so 389 watts at 11.98 389 at 11.98 that's unfortunate that my voltage is dropping so much um, but anyway we'll just have to deal with that for today because this is all that i have set up so let's go into the uncertified again this is 40 hertz test so far all right so we'll go to mode and we'll choose uncertified and again we're mono and we've got those jumpers jumped and we'll choose four ohms and we need to choose any track from three to eleven so we like to do closest one to three actually we're already on four so we can go ahead and do that one so let's go back to the beginning of the track let's start the dyno and unpause it uncertified to clipping at 4 ohms mono three hundred and forty seven so it's not that much different than uh, what we got before but as you can see the voltage dropped a little bit more because we were at 12 and a half batteries probably getting run down a little bit so 347 at 12.37 so what we got with that all right so let's try the two ohms um non-certified or uncertified all right so we'll go back and we'll choose two ohms and we've already got it on track four so we'll go ahead and start dyno and unpause track so we get Yeah, boy, keep coming. 431, that's what I'm talking about. Again, it's rated at 300 watts. We got 431. You can read my handwriting at 11.3 volts. All right, so let's go to the dynamic burst mode. Let's see what this bad boy can do at dynamic burst at 40 hertz. So we'll go back and we'll go to exit. So we'll go back to the main screen. And then we'll go to dynamic power run. Mono. Choose four ohms. Enter. Track one or two. So we'll go here to track one. And we'll pause it. And then we'll start the dyno and unpause the track. See what we got. Woo, check it out, burst. That's pretty amazing. This amp is, is like the RMS power is about the same as the burst power. And it's 12.3. That's pretty uh that's pretty good as you can see 
looks like the one percent distortion the clipping and the dynamic bursts are right all about the same so that's pretty impressive again so we'll go back and then we'll choose two ohms again this is a mono load and we're ready to go on track one or two we got it on one so we'll start dyno unpause track and watch the lights dim and that's what we're going to get about 458 458 watts at 11.94 volts. So 458, 11.94. So again, the ratings is rated at 300 watts at two ohms mono and does, um, you know, more than, well, one and a half times what it's rated. <laughs> Pretty incredible. So just for uh, curiosity, I'll run through the one kilohertz test real quick. I probably won't show you all those because it's kind of boring to watch them again, but um, I will show just the, uh, like the screen where the result is and I'll, sh I'll talk about it at the end. All right, guys, I completed the test here. Show you what we got. Um, I also did an eight ohm test, and you probably noticed by the pictures that it only showed one of the channels, and the reason that is, is because the uh, Amp Dyno doesn't have an eight ohm uh, bridged mono mode, but you can just use one of the channels, you know, as long as you don't have more than 12,000 watts on that one channel, which I'm nowhere near that. So what this will do is you divide those by two, that gets you the two ohm, two, um, the four ohm per channel load. So that 182, um, you know, like 91 watts per channel at four ohms. Uh, as you can see all the way down, it looks like now the top is the 40 hertz, the bottom is the one kilohertz. And the only one that really kind of stood out to me was the two ohm mono test with the dynamic burst mode. You can see we got 517 watts with that one. Uh, but the voltage stayed up a little bit more than um, on the uh, 40 hertz test. So those may have been closer if we would have um, you know, been able to keep our voltage up. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you guys the first test here with using the new Amp Dyno. Uh, testing the Kicker ZR240. We're going to try to work out our voltage situation so we can keep our volts up a little more. Um, you guys know I have that big adjustable power supply. I'm just in a rental right now. I don't have a really good place to hook it up unless I unhook the dryer. And I'm not sure my wife's going to let me do that. But anyway, um, thank you guys as always for watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to probably pull out some smaller amps, you know, probably less than 500 watt old school amps. And those are the ones I'm going to test first until I can uh, get the voltage situation settled. So thanks for watching. This is Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com. Until next time, I'm out of here.